We're here with Brittany Bruce. Brittany, you know, talk about you know getting this sweep in the doubleheader and how big was it for this team? Um, it was very big. Uh, we played with all our hearts today. Like I'm proud of everybody. Everybody done their part, and we showed up and played. Now, talk about your defense at third base. You were fantastic there. You know, taking away base hits, catching liners. Even you got one off of your chest, and you were able to catch a ball hits the ground. Just talk about your your defense of today. Um, I just done my job. Like that's that's what I'm there to do. So I just come out and just play like I'm supposed to. You know, talk about Camise Patterson's home run in that seventh inning. You know, tied it up here. And, you know, gave you guys a chance to to win this one. That was game big. One. That was big. Um. Uh, it's just amazing. Like, I'm proud of her. And, you know, talk about the fight of this team. You know, you score two in that tenth inning, and then, you know, Bradford comes back, but you're able to get two more in that eleventh to really, you know, take that, you know, winning game number one. Um, we all, like, I'm proud of everybody. Everybody came out here, done their job. We played like we should have played. And, like, if we came out here to play like we are supposed to play, by like every game we would do this. How about game number two? You able to score first on the scoreboard and you know be able to ride that throughout the game? Um, I think it's big to score first. It gives us like lead way. We have uh, some something to fall back on if everything messes up. So it was big. We're here with Camise Patterson. Camise, you know, talk about you know game one. You know, one of those back and forth type games. Just talk about you know the fight that this team had. Yeah, everybody's trying to stay up. Everybody's trying to stay positive. Uh, we knew that we could come back and get it. It was just a matter of time. And you know, we we knew we were gonna fight. We knew it was gonna be a long game. We were just prepared to fight and win. You know, it was Brittany Bruce we just talked to had the uh, the homer that really you know gave you guys a chance. Just talk about you know what that did and what that did for the momentum of this team. Yeah, BB uh, her home run sparked sparked something under our butts and uh, finally got us going and it made us realize you know that anybody you know even the ninth batter because she's batting ninth right now even they can come in and hit a home run or get a big hit and score runs and that's something that we need on this team. You know, one through nine we're all hitting well and that just I don't know just did something for us. And you know, talk about you know you're a bat in that you know seventh inning that tied it up and. You know, we get one of those bounces that goes our way finally. This one bounces over the fence for us. Oh, yeah. You know, I've had, a, I don't know, two or three of them this season that haven't bounced my way. And finally, you know, I just went up there hacking, and she threw me with a pitch right down the middle, and I just hit it like I knew how to, and it just finally went over, I guess. And uh, it came off the bat hard, and, you know, Amanda Dahl was at, uh, I think, first base, and she was able to get home, too. So it was really big. You know, it tied us back up, and it gave the team a chance to uh, come back and win it in the 11th. You know, talk about the fight of this team. You know, you, you get those two runs in the tenth inning. You you think you're sitting pretty, but you know, Radford comes back, gets answers them in the bottom half of the inning. But you're able to fight and get two more in the top half of that inning to you know go on to win nine eight. Yeah, uh, they're a good hitting team. We knew that they were going to put the bat on the ball. We weren't sure that they were going to come back in uh, tied up again, but we just knew that you know whatever they do, we got to come back and we got to do it better. And uh, you know, we got to match their intensity. We got to match the runs they score. And somehow we got to get either more or, or you know more than them. So. That's that's what we were talking about in the dugout. We just got to score more. Talk about your pitchers in the circle. You know, they did a fantastic job today. You know, limiting you know Radford offensively. Oh, they were awesome. Um, they they didn't really struggle today. You know, everybody's kind of happy about that. And uh, they were just able to put like if they got balls put in play, we we made the play that we were supposed to make. And even if you know they struck them out, you know we were all happy. And even if they made a mistake, we were able to still get them out. And that's just something that we need. Our pitchers did awesome today. You know, talk about the series finale tomorrow. We wrap it up at one o'clock on Sunday. Yeah, uh, it's a little weird playing on a Sunday, you know, but I guess it's what we got to do. Uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow, we should come out here. We'll be ready to hit, you know, either the pitcher we saw the first game or the second game. We just got to come and play our game, and hopefully we win the series. We're with volunteer assistant Eric Lee. You know, Eric, you know, talk about getting the sweep here in the doubleheader against Radford. I think the most important thing that we saw today was a sense of resilience from our team. I think uh, the getting down early and, and just never quitting and uh, continuing to fight, finding ways to just chip away at it and then finding a way late to tie it up and give ourselves a chance going into extra innings. So it was just the, the biggest part of the whole thing. Talk about, you know, Radford, you know, strikes first in that first inning and, you know, this team able to butt fight back. They get a couple of home runs to get within one then Kimmy's Patterson with the you know the home run that ties up in the seventh. Bradford came out, they struck early, they came out with a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. They were ready to play. Uh, we've we've had that happen multiple times this year where teams have come out and struck and punched us in the gut early and, and it's really been about our makeup and our character and our ability to fight back and find a way. Uh, and that's what the girls did today. They just kept fighting. They just kept chipping. There was a sense of uh, calm in the dugout. Nobody ever panicked, and, 
it was just a great experience. You know, talk about Courtney Robertson, Circle. Besides, you know, a couple of home runs, she pitched pretty well for for the team and gave them a chance to win this one. Courtney pitched very well. Courtney kept battling. Uh, that's what you ask pitchers to do in these situations. They get in a, one of those days that uh, their stuff may or may not be working at its best, and and just finding a way to get outs and give their team a chance. And that's what Courtney did for us today. She gave us a chance to win. She put us in a position to win. And we were able to bring Brittany Arn in to close things out late and uh, finish things off. You talk about resiliency, and resiliency was very key. Lighting extra innings. You know, you, you make the first you know, punch, you know, get a scoring in the scoring two runs, and Radford comes back, gets two more. But you respond. You get two more in that top half, and that really sets you up to get the win 9-8. That goes back to that whole thing that we talked about earlier, Nate, with this team. They just find ways. They find ways. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what punch is thrown. It just seems like they always find a way to do something, to get a run when we need a run, to get an out when we need an out. We go up 7-5 to five in extras. They come back and tie it up on a two-run home run, and we come right back and score uh, two more in the next inning when just when you think everything's about to fold we haven't moved the runner over from second base in international tie break and everybody may be down and we find a way we, we make plays happen and that's what our kids have done all year and we couldn't be prouder I mean you also laid the first punch in game number two but rapper responds they end up having a 3-2 lead but you know get a, you get a two run fit that was very key in propelling you to the victory we always try to, to scratch every inning. We just want to keep scoring. We just want to keep finding a way to get a run on the board to help the pitching staff out. Our pitchers fought today. They battled. Julia went out there and threw really well for us. Uh, made a couple of mistakes. Uh, fortunately enough, she was pitching well enough that those mistakes only hurt her for one run. Uh, so the, the key to everything it's just continuing to fight. I know I keep going back to resiliency, but that's what this team's exhibited all year long. They fought from behind. They fought from ahead. They've given up leads. They've taken leads away from people. It's it's amazing. It's just to watch it happen. And you know, closing it out. You know, talk about you know going the series series finale tomorrow. You're looking for the series sweep on, on, a, on a Sunday. Tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow gives us an opportunity to come out here and get a sweep, yes, but everybody has the same pride that we have in Amanda Little John Stadium. They want to protect their house. Uh, nobody's going to take kindly to us coming in here and trying to sweep. So we have to come out. We have to be ready to play. We have to be able to deliver some punches tomorrow because I can promise you that Radford's going to come out. They're going to be prepared, and they're going to be ready to fight for their turf.